With the announcement of Mayor Barrett's nomination to become U.S. Ambassador to Luxembourg, it's brought a lot of attention to the small European country. Yeah, and here in Wisconsin, we have plenty of unique ties to that country. CBS 58's Melissa Zigowitz is live at American Family Field to show us how their culture has played a role in ours. Melissa. Yeah, that retractable roof would not be possible without Luxembourg, with many of the steel pieces coming from there. The fact that there's a lot of Luxembourgers here doesn't hurt the fact that the mayor was selected. Mike Ansay is an honorary consulate and dual citizen of Luxembourg. He is excited to see Mayor Barrett be nominated as United States ambassador. I feel Tom will be a wonderful job. Wisconsin is actually rich with Luxembourg history. About 20 to 30,000 Luxembourgers live in the state. You go in this region of Port Washington, and you see Greishes and other people, they all have Luxembourgish roots. Anse himself is involved with economic development between the U.S. and Luxembourg. That is a startup. His daughter also imports beer and wine from the country, many of which are only available in Wisconsin. My daughter and her importing business, they're getting a taste of Luxembourg. The Milwaukee Brewers also have the country to thank for the retractable roof. It's a very, very beefy, heavy, specially made I-beam. Joseph Wendt worked on the roof at American Family Field in 1998. This is the beam that was made and imported from Luxembourg that allows it to move. They're the only people who produce this special I-beam. He says without the country making this piece, the project would not have been possible. Just that special beam that the wheels roll on to open up the roof. Now, I'm also told that same steelmaker in Luxembourg is responsible for many of the skyscrapers here in the U.S. Reporting live from Milwaukee, Melissa Zigowitz, CBS 58 News.